coming to you from vacation we're in Maui Woo! doesn't mean we can't bring you a bear hunt though so we've been working on getting this one out to you and uh, it's from a couple years ago and <clears throat> um, I had had gotten it right down to the wire with this hunt and um, only had one day left the season wasn't that I didn't have opportunities because certainly did I just been holding out for a nice nice black bear and finally this uh, real nice color phase <clears throat> popped out there around 6 p.m. shining on I had only been in the tree for a couple hours he had just just shot a bear off this bait the week before and um, it was just <clears throat> barely getting going in it didn't matter I didn't have time I had to sit um, sat down and the funny thing was is we got in the tree and I told him it's like hey man I forgot my headlamp in the pickup and um, so uh, I'm not gonna be able to do any tracking I'll have to go back up and get my headlamp before I do that and he was like um, anyway, so we kind of joked around. I said, hey man, if you shoot one at six, it don't matter. And uh, sure enough, this bear pops in at six o'clock, made a great shot on him. Um, he was bleeding like crazy, <clears throat> running away from the barrel. We were able to put a track job on him, found him right away. And uh, we are back to the truck by 7 p.m. Hey, if you like your content, smash the subscribe button down below. And don't forget to ring that bell. Enjoy the hunt. I'll show you here real quick what I got for uh my base on my bear bait. I've been doing this for a couple years and, uh, and I'll supplement it when I start getting bears hitting real hard. Um, it's a little more expensive, but what we found is, what I found is that the, the bears uh, poop a lot and, uh, I mean, I might sound crazy, but they poop a lot and this might sound kind of gross, but uh, what we'll do is we'll actually uh, take some garbage bags. It's like picking up dog poop. We'll pick that up from this bear bait and uh, we'll drop that at our other bear bait when bears really start hitting. And what that'll do is it'll push the bears to come during daylight and uh, works works really great. So um, when I got here, let me flip this around. Anyways, so I'm gonna go ahead and drop down this ridge here and get this bear bait all set up. And uh, yeah, just got the barrel set in here a little bit ago and we did our interview and uh, now we're going to be um, getting this all set up, and so I'm going to show you guys how we do it. I'm going to put the bait down. So. so usually what I do is I'm going to drop this some right out here on the ground, and uh, then the rest in the barrel, and a little bit on top, just to give it some smell going on. get them on uh, get this all over them and uh, as they disperse out through the night other bears are gonna smell that and uh, that's when we start getting the competition and once you get competition in on a on a bait then that's when the real action starts um, April 15th the afternoon it's a beautiful day I even brought the Ziploc bag put that over the camera and we're just not gonna need it today so far um, I'm gonna get this oil down. I'm gonna kind of show you here what we got. Thanks to Josh Landers for hooking me up. Let me uh, 
I'll grab the camera and show you. Bear gold right there, baby. Get that all over the ground here. Yeah. This bad boy hop. I'm gonna take some pictures of it real quick. There we go. Chicken nuggets.
one and six and it won't matter. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. That's a good shot. The stinking camera was automatically backing out on me. It was doing that to Greg and I the other day. And we don't, I think it's on the autofocus and it can't quite grab it. So I'm having to keep that rocker pressure just a little bit to keep it from backing out on me. I was shaking so bad. Did you see my arrows? <laughs> I was just trying to get a good shot. Like, look, you can see blood all the way through. Dude, when he was running right here, it was just pouring out of him on the side. Oh, is it? Yeah. <laughs> I think I got him a little bit over there, so. <laughs> good job. <laughs> <laughs> nice pair. That's a nice pair. Yeah. He's a nice bear. Yeah. Bigger than the throw pillow, Greg. Was bigger than the throw pillow. <laughs> so I forgot my headlamp in the truck. I don't know. We were just, you know, a typical bear out in the afternoon, running late, busy week. And, and I just texted Cheyenne. I was like, oh, dude, I forgot my headlamp in the truck. And he goes, oh, bummer. And I was like, hey, she won at 6 and it won't matter. What time is it? Like 6.10? 6.10, <laughs> yeah. 6.10. When I first saw him, I think I looked and it was like, I just put my phone down, it was like 601 or something. Yeah. I actually saw him, saw him before Cheyenne. Oh, did you? I just, I glanced back to look at you and he was right there. And I was like, oh. I figured by the time I started grabbing my bow, you would see me move, so. I didn't, I didn't see you move. Oh, well, I was I, slowly going for Oh, okay. Side. Yeah, I just, I caught him over there and I was like, oh, there's a bear. No death ball. I think it's a good shot, though. I, I, I thought it looked good. Yeah, but I mean, you're, we can watch it on the camera. <clears throat> where your arrow is, is right where it's supposed to be. So. He 
He's gonna be dead bare over here. If not, I'll get you some good, get some good footage of you shooting at him with your pistol. Hold on. <laughs> right here. Hopefully he's dead right there. <laughs> <laughs> 